Hi people, this is Michael Nelson from the Cube Apps team at VMware and I'm going to show you a new feature in Cube Apps which is deploying customized Helm charts with private images. So I've created a private project here in my hardware installations, aptly named Project Private, which currently contains a customized Helm chart. Looking at the values, which will load eventually, we'll see here that at least one of the images refers to a private registry of my Harbor project. Now, I've also enabled a robot account in my project with access to pull both Helm charts from the private Helm repository, as well as Docker images from the private project. We can tell Cube Apps about this private Helm repository as usual, as I've already done here, but for deploying the chart, it will actually fail because Kubernetes is unable to find the Docker image secret, the Docker image without the credentials. So when we submit this here, we'll switch over to a terminal and can see once some pods are available. There we go. So container creating. All right. So we have a, an, an error for an image pool and looking more closely, we see that insufficient scope authorization failed. So I could manually at this point create an image pool secret in the Kubernetes namespace or ask my cluster operator to make this available. But then I'm going to have to ensure that I or the people that I'm setting this up for know how to manually add the specific image pool secret that I've created to the chart values when they want to deploy it, which is quite messy and it's not a great user experience. This is where Cube Apps aims to simplify things within the scope of the Kubernetes security model. So I've deleted the deployment and we're going to create a new Cube Apps app repository. Putting in the same information as always, the URL where the repository is located. Because it's a private Helm chart repository, we need our credentials to be able to, so that Cube Apps can actually view, view the charts that are available in there. But this time, we're actually going to also add um, some credentials so that Kubernetes knows how it can pull the images from the private, private Docker registry. After adding the normal information to give access to the private Helm repository, we'll now additionally associate an image pull secret with the app repository. This tells Cube Apps that whenever deploying any chart from this app repository, if an image referenced in any pod is to be pulled from a Docker registry in one of the associated secrets, then Cube Apps will automatically add an image pull secret reference to that pod. For the Harbor project that I've created, the same credential can pull both charts from the private Helm repo as well as from the Docker registry. So let's deploy our custom Helm chart with its private Docker image again and see what happens. This time, during the deploy, Cube Apps has used the fact that the app repository has an image pull secret linked. So when a pod was found referencing a matching Docker registry, it attached the relevant image pool secret. So we're checking here that the pod actually is creating without error, which after eight seconds, it seems to be pulling the, pulling the image quite happily and we have no um, error. Yeah, no permission error there. We can also verify that the image pool secret has actually been attached. This private app repository is not available in any other namespace, as you can see if I switch to the default namespace. And once the image is pulled, the deployment completes successfully. So Cube Apps now makes it easy to configure an app repository so that users can deploy a custom Helm chart containing private Docker images. Thanks for your time.